Pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, is a relatively new and very promising way to prevent the spread of HIV. Truvada as PrEP is a combination of two medicines, tenofovir and emtricitabine. These antiviral drugs, originally approved by the FDA in 2008 for HIV treatment, work by preventing HIV cells from multiplying in the body. While it is not for everyone, and not intended to substitute for condom use, PrEP is a powerful line of defense, especially for those at elevated risk of contracting HIV. These include gay or bisexual men, trans women, individuals who have multiple sex partners, those who are HIV negative in sexual relationships with HIV positive or non-monogamous partners, and people who have recently or repeatedly tested positive for other sexually transmitted diseases. Taken daily, PrEP has proven to be over 90% effective in reducing HIV transmission, which means it plays an important role in preventing the spread of HIV. Now, how do you identify individuals in your patient community who can benefit from PrEP? Their medical history can be a great source of clues. Of this syphilis infection, I, I saw from the medical records that this is actually your second infection of syphilis in the past few months. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And you mentioned to my nurse that you do have uh, more than one active sexual partner. Is that right? That would be right. Okay. Uh, and are these partners men, women, or transgender persons? Just men. Okay. Well, uh, as you probably know, condoms are the best and most effective way we know of to prevent most sexually transmitted diseases, like syphilis, for example. So I want to remind you to use condoms consistently with any kind of intercourse. But for HIV in particular, there is another way that you can protect yourself, and it's called PrEP. Assessing a patient's sexual profile isn't always this quick or easy, and the only way to know is to ask. Being proactive can help cut through uncomfortable barriers, but you should only do so with your patient's trust and confidence. And it's definitely something I think you would be eligible for. There are other markers you can use to identify potential PrEP candidates. Every six months. That's really good that you're proactive and get tested every six months, especially since your husband's HIV positive. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. We don't always use protection, but he's undetectable, so I know my risks are a lot lower. That's true. Your risk is a lot lower because he's undetectable, but it's not zero. But we want to make sure you don't zero convert. Um, there is a pill you can take once a day that decreases your chance of converting by 90%. Really? Yep. It's called PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. You take it once a day. Other high-risk patients include those who repeatedly test for HIV. Each time I come back negative, but it just feels like I'm rolling the dice. Yeah, I understand your concern. Uh, I would also be worried that you have to constantly keep testing and being worried about turning positive. So that's why I think PrEP is a good option for you. I know, I, I, I know people who take it, but I'm just worried about having to take a pill every day. A lot of patients have the same concern. They don't want to commit themselves to taking a pill every day, but many people are able to take a vitamin every day because they know it's good for their health. And in the case of PrEP, taking one pill a day could prevent getting HIV. I've known people who've taken PEP. Isn't that the same thing? PEP is a little bit different from PrEP. PEP is post-exposure prophylaxis. So you take a number of pills for a month after you were exposed to HIV. In this case, you're taking one pill a day to prevent getting HIV in the first place. And you can there may be situations where access to PrEP or to the level of counseling and monitoring required for successful treatment regimens may feel limited. You can help your patients achieve better outcomes through California's statewide resources. And of course, if your patients want to know more, you need to know how to help them take the next step. So you're interested in PrEP? Especially if they show interest. So how does it work? So we'll draw some blood today, test you for HIV and hepatitis B, and check your liver functions. And when I get those results back, I'll call you in, and we'll give you a prescription for about three months' worth. Are there any side effects? Well, just like any medication, there are some side effects. Most are known to be minor. Uh, the more serious side effects include lactic acidosis and liver disease. But once you start, I'll have you back every three months, so we'll check your labs, and I'll see how you're responding. That's not so bad, especially if it keeps me from getting HIV. Because of its outstanding success, PrEP is rapidly becoming the standard of care for those at higher risk of HIV infection. You play an important role 
in ensuring that the patients under your care know about and are receiving the best possible treatment to prevent the transmission of HIV. Thank you.